when I first saw Sophie she was like a vision everyone not just the men adored her you know she used to run with the artists most women that would have ruined their reputation but not Sophie it gave a kind of glamour a glow <laughs> you know she asked me to marry her I didn't know what to say I knew it wasn't love she had inherited the chateau from her parents she had grand dreams she needed a contract a business relationship still I hoped we had the flyboys here George Mick Mick Maddock called him Mike Irish George he loved the good wine and he could speak the franglais I would sit in the bar with them and Sophie would serve the drinks she hated being seen as my wife as a lesser than me I never saw her as a lesser never she listened to the boys troubles especially Mick always Mick when he died I thought she died with him she cried for weeks hardly left her room always asking for news the Germans had found him some say he lived four days after the crash but no one knows for sure in any case the Germans buried him so she never got a chance to say goodbye not properly she was a different woman after that I don't think she ever recovered it's like the light went out and I've never been able to get it back <laughs> 